Uh, it's me to zero, and this this is technological disaster of a game, which uh, very hard to set up on Windows 10. It might just randomly decide to to not work as it should work. Uh, Okay, uh, without further ado, thanks to Crazy Charlie for this uh, amazing laptop that I'm using here on the side. Um, okay, uh, and uh, I'm gonna restart the game just in case to pre prevent some crashes, and then we'll be good to go. It should stay in the same spot as it was. Yeah, perfectly cropped. All right, uh, giving the countdown uh, three, two, one, go. So this is GTA 2 downtown on 100% uh, and F7, hello, okay, skip the dialogue, oh god, I'm gonna have to reset, is dialogue slow, okay, no, 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 no. okay, uh, res re can you reset the timer, I forgot we had incentive, I completely forgot, which language one? Probably French. French, yeah, and I figured why dialogue wasn't skipping as well, so good thing I did it. We, oui. okay. Now that this is uh, actually going, uh, start the timer in three, two, one, go. Okay. Now it's now it's fine. Okay. So it's very important that the first dialogue plays by the time that you enter the car because we gotta start the tutorial and. Uh, if we leave the telephone before the guy finishes talking his tutorial, he'll be like, well, go to hell, figure out everything on your own. But we actually need to do tutorial because it gives us one uh, token. And we need 50 tokens, uh, 20 kill frenzies, 22 missions, and that's what 100% is. Uh, we're only doing first district uh, for various reasons. One of those reasons being uh, we really don't want to be doing seven hour long RNG run on uh, ESA. Uh, however, downtown is a pretty chill run, and as far as I'm not playing as a complete moron, we should uh, first of all hit 100% because it's very easy to lock yourself from progressing. And second of all, uh, well, I guess I'll fi I'll have to do something if I actually lock myself out of 100%. There are certain kill f well, every single kill frenzy, if you fail or tour, if you fail it. Uh, you can't redo it, unlike in 3D GTAs and Frenzy Pass, very easy. So almost all frenzies in this game have to do with destroying random cars or killing a random amount of pedestrians, or if it's specified, policemen. You can actually do a lot more, but they never bothered doing it. So we're in tutorial section, it's kinda uh, something you never do in like all missions or any percent or anything else, uh, but since it gives us one token, we really need to do it. Um, unlike in 3D GTAs, you can start all the frenzies and everything whenever you want on the fly. So we're just gonna be doing that uh, whenever we're passing a very conveniently placed frenzy and we have all the conditions to do the said frenzy, we're gonna, we're gonna be doing it. That's how it's gonna, the routing is working. So, um, as the run itself goes, I would say that this is the best uh, GTA to run uh, in terms of uh, tech. Uh, I mean, Obviously, 80% is very, very, very heavy tech, but it's kind of boring in that regard. It's like three RNG tricks, but the technology behind those RNG tricks is kind of interesting. This one is just uh, poor execution, uh, pure execution. Oh, ooh, don't, don't freeze. Oh, GTA 2, giving me heart attacks here. I thought it crashed like twice there. Okay, happily burned 60 people. Somewhere during this round, we're going to get a genocide bonus. It's gonna be very, very happy announcer. Um, so yeah, uh, at the start and like in tutorial, like all these, we, we're just doing uh, the, the tutorial itself wants us to go to to phone booths and uh, is laptop actually charging, Charlie? Uh, just in case, because if it turns off, okay, 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 perfect. So that was a really good machine gun frenzy. I did it in one cycle. Without, well, actually, I did it in zero cycles. I just came to the point and it was already passed. So that's like a really good tutorial so far. Decent tutorial is like around seven, seven minutes. Below seven minutes is crazy good. So for this frenzy, you need specifically cops. 
So I was killing pedestrians to bait out police. Uh, failing missions, as far as the round goes, isn't terrible. Failing frenzies is uh, the only thing we're really trying to prevent. So I'm gonna be trying as hard to not fail frenzies, and obviously I'm gonna be trying as hard to not as hard to not fail missions. But that can happen, and then I'll just have to redo missions. But we get we're gonna get to missions a bit later. Oh god, Why are you so annoying? So yeah, I had oh. That's not. Uh, I need still to talk to a phone, because otherwise the quest doesn't progress. So that HP isn't good. For that reason, I might uh, take a slow turn to Red Yaku uh, Red Looney phones to get HP. Uh, cops punch through armor, and uh, they're also pretty glitchy. Sometimes they can do what we call circle punch. It's like, if you... Well, it's not called circle punch because it goes in a circle. It's actually, if you go in a circle, you're going to get hit multiple times. So normally I wouldn't go here, but I am worried about my health. So I'm going to do that. Well, it's pretty obvious then in a normal round, you would just uh, be yoloing the tutorial as hard as you can since it's the very beginning. Spending any extra time on it is really not a good idea. So three... Wanted level here is uh, actually bad. If I get a really unlucky cop spawns here, they might they might make me stuck. But they might as well not appear at all. That's a good that's a good roadblock. Okay. So this is a fire fire truck just ran over 20 people. Easy as that. Uh, so yeah, tutorial is okay. Those guys I'm not willing to be seeing on screen at all. So I'm just trying to avoid getting stuck on any wall because if I'm getting stuck with fire truck, it's gonna get quite a long time to fix. And we only have two frenzies left in this tutorial section, after which we're gonna uh, proceed to actually doing missions. So these guys in blue are Yakuza. Uh, every single gang in a game uh, has seven missions. Let's uh, go to that explanation, I guess. And. Uh, uh, there are different kinds of missions, uh, green, yellow and red. As you can see in the top left corner there is a respect meter for each gang. Currently it's on neutral for every single gang, you can start green mission for all of them. Uh, and uh, when you do mission, respect for the said gang goes up. And when you kill the r members of rivalry gang, the respect goes up as well and it also decreases for the rivalry gang. Same goes for missions, when you complete missions of one gang, the rivalry gang uh, loses respect for you. Very easy. So, but that leads to certain problems. Okay, careful. Um, if we fail missions, we're actually gonna lose respect. And there, there are certain spots in this round where if you lose respect, you gotta have to make a very big detour to continue the run. And if that happens, unfortunately, I will have to just go and grind uh, other gang members. So this is Tank Frenzy, uh, kind of the only tutorial frenzy that you can fail if you are being me. It isn't really hard, uh, and on PlayStation and Dreamcast it's actually even easier, because there you just need to drive over cars, uh, however on PC you need to actually be shooting. Uh, but it's kind of glitchy, so sometimes you can uh, uh, do the shooty and not hit the cars and still get uh, the car the destruction counted so obviously the easiest way of failing this frenzy is by getting dragged out of car second easiest way of failing this frenzy is by by actually missing shots okay easy every time so we're gonna leave this tank here on streets it's gonna be it's probably the worst spot I could have left it but whatever uh, it's not gonna despawn until the end of the run, un unless I have to restart the district, as in soft restart, not a reset. And uh, now we're gonna finish the tutorial, and uh, since tutorial is uh, a mission, we're gonna lose our wanted level. And uh, we also get a bit of money, so we're just gonna save. I have no safety safe repairs for this run. Completely bold move, but everything should go somewhat okay, I'm just gonna be running to the safe station every now and then when I'm kind of conveniently close or inconveniently when the mission uh, is known to be able to crush the game after its passes. 
So um, now um, the old 100% uh, route for downtown used to be very different. Uh, time, uh, that round stayed for quite a long time. It's uh, growing big on YouTube still. Uh, it's the round by Molotov. It's 115.29, I believe. Uh, it's a pretty decent run if you look at it. It uh, doesn't have any major mistake. It's just that the route is kind of not optimal at all. Uh, so this is Radio Zaza and uh, everyone's mad at everyone. So that's why that random dude just uh, dragged me out of car. Uh, so yeah, uh, the newer route was uh, developed by Nuclear, I believe, and then I copied that route and uh, made some uh, changes to that, and uh, now current world record for downtown is 107 uh, something by May. So um, the nu uh, what Nuclear did to the route, it basically applied all missions route and then added 100% stuff, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, if you followed uh, maybe Winter, uh, one, the old mission, Race by Me and Wind, uh, we're doing essentially the same. So here, after Zaza, we start murdering people. Uh, that's for two reasons. First of all, we're murdering ga gang members, which is Zaibatsu, and by killing them, we're getting respect towards Yakuza, whose missions we're going to be doing. Second of all, we need to get... Uh, as much of wanted level as we can while here uh, well we don't need as much we basically need a SWAT van at the end of next mission on demand to in soft insta pass I don't know to like skip doing the the entire task for uh, for the red Yakuza mission that we're gonna be doing so uh, I gotta not forget that it's not actually all missions and is a hundo and keep picking up these tokens so you might wonder what do you get for these tokens it's not much but essentially by collecting tokens and doing frenzies and uh, doing all missions you unlock uh, well but by doing missions I don't think you unlock uh, bonus levels but by uh, collecting tokens and doing frenzies you unlock uh, bonus missions and then uh, you can play them from the menu um, so this is a get Zidzaki, kind of an easy mission, but it comes with the downside of the fact that there is a lot of cops on you, so they can... Uh, otherwise this easy mission can be failed, again, very easily, by those cops uh, screwing you over. Uh, I'm just gonna... I don't like the sound of that, okay. kind of want to kill cops. I'm just gonna do this. Unless they kill themselves, of course, and I can't do that. So as I said, I need a SWAT van. Gotta make sure it follows me. Normally you wouldn't do that, uh, because there is a glitch in this game. Uh, uh, kind of convenient. Okay, I'm actually gonna gonna go for a soft glitch. I almost got killed there. Um, so yeah, there it is. But I'm not gonna test my fate. Uh, so as you can s could see, the SWAT man was still around and it aggroed on me, even though I only have wanted level 1, because they're police, they do their job. Uh, and what you would do is you would just uh, make sure that the SWAT van triggers and starts following you, and run up until the end of the, the, the next mission, so that the uh, SWAT van just follows you there. But sometimes uh, the AI might decide to actually forget about you, and uh, you won't get a SWAT van and you will be very, very upset. So this mission wants you to bring a SWAT van to garage and that's the entire mission and we already conveniently enough have that car with us so we're just gonna drag it there. Um, it's not really an RNG point in the run, there are few RNG points with the cars but other than that this run is uh, mostly on you driving well. Okay B-type is a perfect, perfect fine machinery here. Gonna grab it and uh, collect tokens in this part of town where we never ever gonna go again. This part of town has some things, but uh, there is absolutely nothing in terms of uh, important things to 100%. If you wonder how 100% is defined, is uh, very simple. We just go to F6 menu, which I will make sure to show after the run is over, and uh, do everything that's in there, and that is 100%. Alright, coming up is a pretty difficult mission. Mission itself is not difficult, but I'm gonna be doing uh, a kill frenzy during it. So I'm gonna pick up this machine gun frenzy. It normally game game developers wanted you to do it here, I guess, since uh, there is uh, conveniently a lot of Z uh, Yakuza being spawned. But we really don't want to kill all the many Yakuza, because we're still gonna be doing their missions. Ooh, that's not good. 
and uh, oh my god okay if I'm in practice I was actually the only frenzy that I didn't complete but yeah I'll have to do something I have to kill whatever whichever people I get here even if it ruins my Yakuza respect I'm gonna have to go with it it looks fine okay and now there is uh, this tank which is a mission tank which is being followed by these boys and uh, we just grabbed invisibility so that uh, they don't uh, shred us to pieces and uh, okay I didn't fail it and my Yakuza respect is actually somewhat somewhat bearable and now we go to a bit of a yeah I said this tank is gonna be a problem for me this tank can be a quite a nice meme later NPCs can enter it and uh, screw me over hopefully it won't happen yeah, and this is currently a driving section, so I'm gonna catch a breath here. Fire donated five dollars. Hey to zero, don't lose your kneecaps. Kappa from Russia with love. Yeah, thanks. Shoutouts to Russian Restream, who's probably here at the moment of this run and not on stream one, doing their job. Yep. Jack of Hearts two hundred and thirty-one donated ten dollars. Haircut zoom dot trademark. So, um, the route, uh, well, in downtown there is such a thing in all missions, uh, that is non-linear, non-linear. We aren't implementing this, y well, we, as in me and maybe Nuclear if he does runs, aren't implementing this yet into 100%. However, uh, what that means is uh, throughout this entire section, uh, which is already going on, um, I might be looking for ice cream van. I won't be doing the Donald Linear if I actually get it, but there is a very annoying RNG mission a bit later on, which requires you to get Ice Cream Van. And if you get it earlier, you do different routes, and depending on that, uh, you can not... Uh, you can... Uh, this tank is gonna be the bane of me if I run under it. Uh, and uh, essentially what the non-linear does is uh, it's like three equally, equally quick routes if you have ice cream van at certain points so that you don't lose time looking for it or uh, driving it all around the town so we're doing a bit of a loony jobs as you can could, could have noticed it's just that we need convenient to clean up the phone queue and also do the the uh, green missions so we, we're at this point both green missions for loonies are done and now this is uh, Destroy JLab, first yellow mission. Uh, yellow missions, unlike, uh, well, rather also kind of like that, uh, is uh, they occupy the phones. So there are three yellow missions and you can start the third one unless you pass the uh, first or second one. Uh, once that one is getting passed, uh, the phone gets free and you can start the next mission. Same goes with red, you can start second red mission without passing first red mission. So here, this mission is pretty simple, it's just mostly driving to the lab. Get in there. Yeah, before that, a route used to be different and we had uh, two grinding, se grinding sessions. Uh, by grinding is, I mean, uh, fixing our respect. As you can see, my Zaibatsu respect is at complete bottom. And eventually I'll have to do Zaibatsu missions, so for that I'll have to kill loonies. Inevitably. Conveniently enough, for 100% that would be done during Kill Frenzy, so... Um, I'll be totally fine on that regard, and that's a pretty good car I got. Um, so that, that death warp saves around 10 to 15 seconds. If you don't have grenades, you can. You should still death warp out of there by killing yourself over fall damage, but it's uh, it's a bit hard. Well, it it also doesn't save quite as much time. So here is ice cream van. However, I cannot pick it up just yet because it's it'll be just a waste of time. Uh, so part of why we pick up ice cream vans at certain points is uh, that uh, GTA 2 has a car car stack uh, which is a memory queue of like three last cars you entered um, and uh, if those cars were spawned in the world as soon as you enter three different cars even if they are spawned in the world 
the queue will uh, destroy the cars which aren't fixed. Fixed spawns which stay on the on the parking lots, uh, they always stay in the world unless they are destroyed. And even then they stay as a garbage, I think. But I might be wrong here. Mm, so this mission isn't insanely hard. They, uh, during this mission you also ask to wait for Hiroshi when you're robbing a bank, but you can just abandon Hiroshi with no repercussions whatsoever. So uh, sometimes he makes it in, sometimes he doesn't. And I got a B-type there, which is insanely good. So now, next mission is get Gamma Ray. It's uh, sort of RNG, because it wants you to get uh, Medicar. And uh, on second, in second and third district, Medicars are unnaturally spawned in the world. Uh, well, naturally spawned on... Uh, near... Okay, wait a moment. There it is. Naturally spawn near hospitals. In first district, however, they don't do that. So I gotta do this dumb manipulation. Also, I'm sorry for those who heard that there is a Jesus song over at radio, but we won't hear it because I need to drive this uh, stupid medic car at the moment. However, during next mission, if we don't get police car, we'll listen to it, or eventually during the run. Uh, so yeah, I'm playing in French uh, because the nation said they've got met if you wonder. Uh, if you weren't here at the start or if you're watching on YouTube or something else. Uh, language does absolutely nothing for this game. Uh, on some point we actually got hold uh, onto a Japanese version and we were like, damn boy, here we go again, dupes, insta passes, but nothing different is there in Japanese version other than there is a Japanese language which is cute. I'm gonna bait these cops. So now, now I'm gonna be starting uh, follow that traitor. And normally throughout the run, uh, for all missions, uh, you would uh, do a bit of a search around if you're going this non-linear route uh, to try to spot an ice cream van. We, however, don't have time for that. We're gonna go. There's an ice cream van, but I can't pick it up, and it's also in a bad spot. Um, I'm gonna go here. There is uh, this one token which you might have seen if you were paying attention when I was at the bottom of the map which I'm gonna pick up now and if I'm not getting extremely blocked by cops I'm gonna make it to where the traitor is going before he gets there however I hit so many walls that I'm not entirely sure that I will so if I don't make it I'm gonna make a drive of shame however I made it good very tight drive when I first started learning this round, this was actually a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty tight drive to, like, I think I was failing at every second run or something. Uh, so this is a refried noodle. We don't really need him, but sometimes he manages to get into a car and I don't mind him. He can help us if things go south. Uh, so uh, NPCs notice you uh, based on... Uh, based on how high your camera is. So if you're driving slow, these three guys won't notice you up until you're really close. But if you're driving fast, you'll see them way before and they will notice you as well. Next mission is, uh, it's actually called Happy Gas Smash in, in, in freedom language. But here it's just called a boom. Um, that's where we need ice cream van. We game currently doesn't tell us that we need it. However, if I see it, I'm gonna snatch it really quick. So here's another conveniently placed token, and it also makes killing these guys uh, way easier. So they're just gonna line up here, except for this one, which I'll have to shoot. Where is he? Dude, chill. Okay. So now uh, we are at the bless RNG moment, basically, because I need ice cream van, I still don't have it. Um, and if you got getting to this point in your non-linear section, uh, normally you go here, you check it here, and if it's not here, you just reset. But I can't keep going with this route, or like this run, any further without getting ice cream van, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna test my luck here. It's gonna take some time. Oh, maybe not. We're lucky. Okay, so that's actually still pretty good. 
And there is a very con uh, game also tells us to go to the bottom and bomb bomb the van there, but we don't really need to go there. We can just bomb it wherever. It really doesn't care. It's just that if you go to that one specific, I think it does it for free because uh, well, you need to pass a mission. And with that, uh, it's all Yakuza missions done, I believe. Yes, it is. A very big text appears. Which is quite big in French. So now, for the loonies, uh, for this mission, in this linear route, I need to have four respect. I might uh, kill some extra, how are they called, Yakuza's? Uh, just so that... Uh, nice mission name. Uh, just so that um, I can start next mission. Next mission we're gonna be doing for loonies is a five star, uh, five respect mission, the red mission. Uh, taxi drivers must die. Uh, annoying mission as well. Okay, I'm gonna try swag strats. I really don't know how to do them properly. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Okay, but. Uh, Essentially, you're getting a wrong height there and can jump on the roof without actually driving uh, on any kind of slope. I'm really bad at that skip. It saves around three seconds. I never do it. Molotov always blames me for that, but that's fine. I tried. Um, so on this radio, I think we're going to have a Jesus song eventually. So let's not miss this token. This is a any percent no e glitch token. Very important to collect. Oh, I don't need the science machine gun. It's not all missions. God damn it. Oh well, so and this mission, th this mission is kind of a unique mechanic on its own. Um, and in every single district, there are bonuses. Well, in, in the game in general, there are different bonuses which you get for um, doing various things, like unique stunt jump. Uh, Medical emergency, yada yada yada. Expeditious execution, which is sub uh, E, the, the the bonus that glitched or killed the entire any percent. But uh, uh, there is a, there are also bonuses which are connected to cars, which exist in the district. Those would be um, Grand Theft Auto and uh, car and some other one. I don't remember. Carjacker, maybe. Uh, and for that, for those, you need to steal every single type of a car that exists in the district. And normally, it's like 11, uh, 18 to 19, 18 to 20 types of cars. But for downtown, uh, unless you do this mission, you actually can't do that because this mission uh, makes it so dimensional limous limousines start spawning on streets, which is kind of kind of a cool, neat mechanic, never used again. But yeah, so this frenzy is a bit. Took a bit, took a bit more than should have, but that's fine. So, uh, the rest of this mission is kind of pretty straightforward. However, we're gonna be doing okay, pretty precise Molotov throw, which I totally didn't miss twice in a row. And it's not that precise as well. Um, and after, like right now, I'm gonna be picking up the frenzy, which is not entirely on my way, but it never is in your way. And right now, it also has it, it also has one of the useful bonuses for the frenzy of that type, uh, which is this red thingy, which is fast reload. Uh, it would be convenient if we, if we could have both fast reload and uh, double damage for the frenzy to come up, but uh, we can't have both because uh, because of their placements. So we're gonna have uh, what we can have. That's one of the few changes that I did to Nuclear's route. It's this frenzy being done earlier than... Uh, I mean, done with bonus and this token collected earlier. I actually did a huge mistake. Okay. Serious gaming moment here. I hope it's not going to heat up too much. So I need to not destroy the car, obviously. Start the frenzy. It's machine gun frenzy to destroy eight cars, which on itself isn't too bad. But eventually these boys will come, come to you. 
and the chain explosions don't count towards the the frenzy. Trying to stay as far away from actual cops as possible. Uh, normally I would yolo it way harder, but this is one of those frenzies that just can can kill the 100%. But because it, as I said, if you fail a frenzy, you aren't allowed to. You, you can't get 100% essentially anymore. It won't respawn. Okay, one more car after that. And that truck cab survived specifically for us to kill it. Thank you so much. Oh, those cops are still mad at me. I don't see SWAT van around at the very least, so it's not gonna follow me. It's the worst part that can happen here is it gets SWAT van and just follows you around for the rest of this mission. It's really annoying. Okay, first scary well first, it's not first scary frenzy, but one of the one of the scariest in this entire run. And uh, this is the Mitchell Limousine that we're driving, and uh, after this mission's done, it's gonna be start uh, gonna be spawning in streets. So that's a neat mechanic. Okay, next is Taxi Drivers Must Die, my totally favorite mission of all time, uh, because I I know billions of ways of failing that mission, especially in the marathons. Mm. But before we're gonna collect some tokens, so that's a bit of a driving here. If we maybe have some donations, we can plug them. But I really don't can't can't look at Leva, so I don't know if we do. So this is the uh, last GTA run of this marathon as well. How are you all guys feeling about it? Are you sad? Are you hyped? Yeah, boy. Ooh, careful here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm also hyped, but I but I gotta I gotta con keep my hype a bit until this run's done. So long run. Things can go south here. So here, after starting a mission, I'm gonna go collect this token. It's never in a way, but we're as well kind of willing to get give first taxi upper hand. In all missions, it's annoying. Well, it's not really RNG. You're on the on the timers, uh, on the global timers, basically here. And if you've been playing slow, too slow or too fast, uh, it will start. It will be stopping in every single traffic light. And otherwise, you can uh, make it drive pretty far and. Uh, Oh well, dude, not cool. And uh, essentially grab it later. Hope it doesn't go any further than that. Stop. Okay. So this is a bit of a silly mission. You gotta steal three taxis, kill everyone who's inside, and then burn taxis in uh, in specific in specific place. I'm not gonna go for Elvis's. I wanna on the marathon. I'm doing this mission no wanted level normally you would yolo the hell out of it i'm not willing to and we also have jesus song oh god I switched the radio so second car is like slightly above if we get a good fast car we can catch it before it ATI is activates, but nope. Gonna go here. I'm gonna buff the audio for uh, music a bit during Jesus song. And I, yeah, your drug truck isn't really a good car as you could have guessed. Also have wanted level, but those idiots aren't showing up. Please don't, don't kill me, cops. I was kidding. Okay, this guy died at the very least. Where's our Jesus song? Here it is. I actually can kind of get away with this one wanted level, I just really don't want to. This is also one of those missions which can just crash at the end with cops, so i just gonna try to avoiding them all along, up until the bitter end. Any decent enough car, come on. Uh, chasing taxi with a taxi, not... Trying to find... yeah, there it is. Yeah, this is a... 
with a slow car, this is a very boring mission, fortunately. But uh, with cop car, which is fastest car in this district, uh, it can be done way, way faster. I'm just not yoloing it. Redoing this mission is a complete pain because you lose your respect and can can start it just by going there. You need to go kill uh, Yakuza, and only then you can start it. And then you have to do the entire thing all over, which is... Uh... Okay, dude. You don't have to... Mis you don't have to just drive over them, you can... You can just shoot them, but... The driver can punch you to death really quickly, about as quickly as cops can. Okay. You can lower the radio while... So, I'm gonna try to find Weeb radio now. Uh, with this, we're kind of almost done with Looney missions, and after Looney missions, there isn't really like Zaibatsu part is just very long missions, and I really need to not. I need to stop talking about missions only because otherwise I'll just forget that I need to do other stuff. But I don't think I missed anything so far, so I'm just gonna chill here. Normally, you would run on streets and be all all nice and dandy. But if there are cops and uh, yeah, this one's a fine one already, uh, if there are cops and uh, something happens, we don't really know what causes the the game crash. The game will crash, and I haven't saved since tutorial, which I'm gonna fix right now, since I'm conveniently going quite close to to a church place, which is right here. GTA 2 has no map, so of course you. To run it, uh, you gotta learn all these districts. I mean, you end up learning all towns and like, it's people always in comments and like on streams. They're like, how do you learn the city? How do you know it without a map? It's like you just play the game. Why do you ask it me? Like people from other GTAs also don't look at the map ever. Like, give them some proper respect as well. They're also smart guys. Uh, so. So uh, this is Who's Mad last yellow mission. I just don't have any convenient spot for it. However, it uh, connects into an uh, entire multitude of kill frenzies, which we're gonna do right now. So starting with this one, which we gonna pick up here and then carry it over a bit further. Oh, I didn't get the Elvis bonus. Uh, hello, can I pick it up? Oh, he also fell out of bounds and died there. Unfortunate. Oh, speaking of falling out of bounds and dying, uh, that's what could have happened during uh, Taxi Drivers Must Die. It's uh, my favorite way of failing that mission. Absolutely not connected to what you do, it just can happen. So, okay, here we're gonna pick up again. Fast reload and uh, shoot some cars. Just stop already. Trying to s not stay in like in a lane with cars because if I get uh, if I get cops which are trying to arrest me, oh come on! I'm gonna have to destroy the mansion unfortunately. Loses me respect, but whatever. Uh, because if uh, if cops are mad at you, uh, they can uh, just push the car which is in front of you, uh, which will just run you over with the said car, and that's really really upsetting. And you also fail Frenzy, which is not cool. I keep forgetting about this tank. I don't think I'll ever remember that it's there. Just gonna have to live with bumping into it every single time. Uh, so here we're going... Uh, yeah, a bit more. Uh, here we're going into, again, a very weirdly placed compound. However, it connects to the mission that we're doing. So we're just gonna clean it up right now. And uh, I heard we have a donation. Yay! Curry Glider donated $15. Can't keep myself from donating while such a handsome man doing run. Oh, Kappa Pride. And yes, no, kneecaps, pride. they're important. Keep them safe. Yeah, Hi to Russian Restream. Yeah, thanks. Thanks to the Russian Restream yet again for being here with us. Hope you're having a good time with no commentators there from time to time. Uh, so this frenzy is a bit annoying. Uh, you don't really have that many pedestrians around. Uh, so the, 
the best you can have is going here. Also trying not to hit the wall randomly. Okay, that was actually pretty good. But it can be very way faster, you can run out and just uh, have a spawn of uh, like seven pets or something. And then you're almost done with the frenzy. Uh, so who's mad is a bit of a random dumb mission. Uh, you go to basically a place where there is an ambush for you. Or like not for you, it's for for Elmo, the guy who's talking on the bottom. Uh, or so I think, I don't actually remember the lore of this game as you might have thought. I know it, but I don't remember it, and that was almost the case that I was explaining with a uh, car killing you by running over you by being hit by other car. It would have been unfortunate. I'm gonna save again, just because I'm here again. That, that's a, like a long segment with Frenzy is done, so that's good enough. Every single save uh, takes 50k from you, which isn't, which isn't uh, a big amount of money at all. Uh, to leave first district normally, like for any percent or yeah or whatsoever, you need uh, one million dollars, which is quite easily obtainable uh, within one minute, in fact. Uh, but uh, of course, for uh, like Hondo or all missions, that doesn't really matter, and uh, you will get one million for completing last mission anyway. So this mission is uh, uh, Gangvara Gogo which uh, asks you to take uh, first take a z-type which we already have second fastest car in this district almost uh, almost the fastest uh, gang car slower than meteor which is from uh, second district um, and we conveniently get it for last mission like three assassins arrive on z-types and uh, here we just use it uh, so we need to kill three guys while in Z-Type and then we need to pick up Mayara, which is a uh, Yakuza car and... Uh, which is slower, it's like not a good car. You try to avoid driving it whenever you can avoid it. And kill another three guys. During this... I hate this. Stop doing this PC, please. Freezes to... Okay, uh, and this also fixes our Zaibatsu respect greatly because we just uh, mow down army of loonies and uh, essentially loonies hate us but we don't really care because this is the last mission we have for them. It'll be only a problem if we somehow fail this mission, which is still a possibility even though we don't have wanted level, which is normally how you fail this mission, by having cops on you doing something stupid. And. Uh, there, there are many weird and dumb ways to fail this mission. You can enter the radius and those guys are still not gonna spot you and then leave it. And they're not moving, but you aren't in the radius anymore and the game will just fail you in like 30 seconds. You can uh, just accidentally or because you actually have to leave the car while in the area and uh, this will fail a mission because you have to be secret. But, however, you can you can exit the car right after, nobody cares, because reasons. Uh, we got pretty lucky with Mayara, even though it is a uh, gang territory, so it spawns quite naturally quite a lot of uh, said gang's cars. Uh, just sometimes happens that uh, they don't don't spawn at all, and you're just wondering, uh, like John Travolta from uh, Pulp Fiction, going left and right. So here are the uh, last three boys, uh, second one is extremely annoying, first one can be killed by random traffic very often, but we didn't get a good traffic. Uh, second is Jumpy Boy however, he is really annoying, so he can jump over your car, not today though. And uh, then he can go on for like 10 to 15 seconds. Yeah, um, so... About how... Okay, I guess I can talk about respect. You can see me kind of aimlessly driving over a lot of gang members. It's because to actually lose your uh, respect level while in a car, you need to kill 21 uh, gang member, which is quite a lot. It's very hard to actually lose that respect. Uh, so I'm just gonna like shove my car into this Zaibatsu compound without caring for how many of them I kill. 
there's actually like none. Um, so leak those loonies. This is the mission in uh, which, in practice, I forgot to pick up uh, two tokens, which lost me probably two minutes. Uh, you know what? I'm. You know what? I'm not willing to. I'm not willing to cop cop that. I'm gonna take the card that I can actually paint spray and paint spray it. I don't want these cops. Better be safe than sorry. Having a wee radio here. Um, this is one of the unique missions again. Uh, it comes with mechanic which wasn't used all that often. Um, and mechanic being a checkpoint actually. Uh, something Rockstar. I don't think they've been doing that throughout. Uh, I might be completely wrong, but I don't remember anything like that in 3 Vice City or San Andreas. Where, I mean, they have uh, trip skips. So essentially that's kind of that thing. Uh, but then, if you fail this mission after a certain part and then restart it, you can skip skip that first part. Like you, Not, just you, not like you can skip, you will automatically skip it. So right now if I fail the mission, uh, I will start from this... Uh, Objective, which is go to the van and uh, drive it, uh, drive it around with the boys. Presumably street boys, of course. So here are three tokens, uh, conveniently placed nearby. So I don't think. Oh God, I'm such a moron. Okay. I gotta keep thinking about it. Remember I was saying that I forgot two tokens in practice? I forgot them again. Really good. Uh, but as far as I remember that I forgot them, I will pick them up right at the end of the mission because I'm gonna still be at the same place where they are. Alright, I'm gonna just concentrate then and think about the tokens. Um, here, it's also... You, you give in the van, van isn't entirely good, but after you hit the checkpoint, uh, the trigger for these Zaibatsu to get in, it doesn't actually matter which car you take. So if I happen to get a good car, any good car, I'll switch. And that is about as good as it gets. Better one will be only cop car, which isn't gonna spawn for some reason, even though I have wanted level. So here you're supposed to like drive this van and then kill a whole bunch of loonies. We're gonna bait them into a straight line and then run them over. Now let's collect those two tokens that I forgot. Yeah, and these guys just... There, yeah, it just goes... goes wandering. Um, next mission is one of those which can crash at the end, so I'm gonna take a small detour and save again. It's a pretty long mission, so if it crashes, I'll have to redo like three mi three minutes of stuff. A bit annoying, but if I fail the tank friends, I don't think I will uh, restart. Hopefully, I won't fail it. So you can see that, like when when I'm not on the mission, there is that pink arrow, arrow blinking. That's the one that wants me to finish this district and play the rest of the game. However, I don't care. Um, so, uh, you might have seen that estimate is like 125, so the run, the world record is 107, uh, and the full game world record is actually quite longer, it's 7 hours 15 minutes currently, done during GTA Marathon 2019, representing here, by me. Uh, it's a good run, you can watch it on YouTube, it has in-depth commentary, a lot of cameos as well, such as uh, the Joshimus, or... Uh, Word of Wind, the legendary GTA 2 grinder, or Eid God, and many many others. Uh, it's pretty explained run, so pretty long, but you might wonder why the hell is that run seven times longer than this while there are only three districts in this game. It's because uh, Rockstar haven't been testing this game all that well, to be honest. And first district, it serves as tutorial, so I guess they put the most thought into it in terms of balancing and nothing here is bad nothing here is like nothing here is wrong it's every single frenzy is reasonable every single uh, um, mission is like 
doable with whatever simple strats that the map isn't completely a mess with like multiple levels above and beyond above and like with crazy npcs or something um, but in the other levels they just kind of threw numbers together and oops that was scary mode of throw something wind figured out how it works recently no need to explain it but it's like a glitch when you almost throw Molotov, then you switch. Whenever you switch back to Molotov, you will throw it with whatever power you had. So that can kill you sometimes. Um, so yeah, uh, for example, in uh, District 2, there is a Kill Frenzy, which takes uh, 25 minutes to set up, because uh, nobody tested it. And it's uh, kind of easy to fail, and if you fail it, uh, rip 25 minutes. So yeah, that's kind of stuff there is in full game run, but it's kind of a, an interesting thing, and I'm definitely going to be improving that like as close to sub-6 as possible. The, some of IELs is sub-6, but uh, um, it's really hard to combine them in one big run. It's also very like hard districts like they are way harder than downtown in terms of missions um, IELs are the main categories for GTA 2 because every single district uh, is self-contained uh, has its own uh, gangs has its own map you don't carry anything over from one district to another so it's just naturally makes sense same goes for GTA 1 and London's uh, those, however, have a bit of a few, a bit few category, less categories. So in this part, there is a Yolo Shark, which I'm not doing. Uh, you can take this car and uh, go for next two tokens. Uh, and uh, if your car gets stuck, uh, which quite a possibility to do either on this jump or uh, on a drop later, you fail a mission, and uh, getting the car saves uh, around. 10 to 15 seconds I think probably more but uh, it also can lose you way too much time obviously I should be like if I ever continue grind like I'm happy with my current PB in this 107 is really solid run even though 105 would have been better um, if I were to go for a better time I would definitely have to go yellow shark also this NPC who like uh, who you dr uh, drop out for for the some sort of deal uh, he, he will start running towards you and you can run him over and he can get a bit lost or fall through the ground and uh, and die in the out of bounds and fail you a mission but yeah definitely worth it okay I'm not forgetting these tokens at the very least it's a good job uh, so we're coming up to tank frenzy unnecessarily scary frenzy uh, first tank frenzy was somewhat easy it's just one minute to kill uh, 20 cars this one's however um, one minute to kill uh, 60 I think pedestrians and that's a bit scarier uh, the scary part comes from the fact that uh, you need to make sure the bodies despawn and if bodies don't despawn oh, 35 only oh, it's still a lot so I'm gonna turn on that angle, it's a very important angle. We're gonna drive here, and as soon as they're close to the wall, we're gonna slam them and then despawn bodies and repeat the procedure. If we do everything correctly, they're gonna be dying there and despawning, and nobody's gonna fly towards me and uh, mess up my uh, my pet spawns. Uh, there can be only so many, however the number is, uh, pedestrians on screen, including dead ones also comes into play in uh, any percent no e glitch where you despawn bodies for when grinding e's okay that was a really good tank uh, so oh i forgot like two frenzies i just realized i'll do them later at least i remember them so this one is really easy it's uh, I don't know. Some 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 frenzies in downtown are just a joke. I kill ten pedestrians. Like what is this? Or like people in general, not necessarily pedestrians. Somebody's still burning. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're gonna take that B-type, which is in world spawn. It's never gonna despawn. Gonna hit cops so that we get a wand level. And we need cops uh, because we need a bust warp or death warp if cops don't spawn. And we're gonna park this uh, A-type here. It's gonna block the car in like a couple missions. And cops don't spawn, so I'm gonna have to go for a death warp. If I can go for a death warp, obviously. But then I need to fly in specific area and uh, die specifically there to teleport right here. Which is, uh, conveniently enough, close to uh, next uh, next green mission, uh, which is uh, first green Zybots mission, wheeler dealing. Uh, I remember it being traffic de bonbon. Nice. Nice words there in French. Um, here we just need to grab like a pack of drugs and then drive... Uh, come on, I need a Z-type. I need a faster card than a Beamer. Beamer isn't terrible. But in fact, it's far from being good. You can paint spray it. I guess that's one way of looking at such a situation positively. So it would seem that I would have to do a whole lot of frenzies during uh, Big Bang job, which is not great because that's the mission I don't want to fail. <laughs> But okay, well, I'm, I'm not gonna fail it, right? Um, so these tokens, completely out of the way. The only time you kind of pass this area in a fast car is right now. So we're just grabbing them. Need to make sure to not land on a car. That Schmidt looked very dangerous to me. And now we do the last two drug dealers or, uh, or the buyers. I'm not sure. This is a pretty chill section after which we need to rig our car for next mission which is armored car clash first a red uh, zaibatsu mission i'd say one of the harder missions in district because it's one of like the trickier ones um, uh, there are two cars i'm gonna start explaining it uh, they're essentially uh, don't take any damage other than bump damage or exploding with bomb car damage it's like a different property i think uh, because normal explosions don't work on them or if car explo if car explodes around them they also don't care but if a uh, rigged bomb car explodes near them that's when they go off so yeah while I'm saving and driving to the mission I guess something donations maybe bamboo shadow donated six dollars privet from the, the ESA hotel room great game great event Jesus saves. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm gonna try to find Jesus on. Oh, it's on! Your prayers have been heard. Okay, careful here. So what we need to do is, uh, well, we already rigged this car, so we're just gonna drive as fast as we can to, th to them. They can give you different patterns. Those patterns can be either good or bad. This one is bad. I'm leaving this car. So uh, it's not bad. Well, first of all, it's bad because there was no traffic in front of the Mayara. But second of all, it's bad because I hit a very unfortunate light, light cycle. Uh, which made him escape on this B-type, on a speedier car. What are you doing, dude? It's a red traffic light. Where are you going? So I need any fast car. Um, obviously, don't want to kill myself. I can kill myself while destroying second car. That won't be a problem, but... Uh, first one, gotta go off without me. Uh, where are you going, even? So yeah, I'm not quite familiar with how this guy does his routine or maybe I am okay you better die okay, he's done yeah haven't uh, messed up the first part in a while but well stuff happens yeah, there was a remaining of a Jesus song I'm gonna kill them no intentions of trying to bait the cops. There is a thing uh, in this game, it's like fast cop car entrance, which I'm totally not trying at all. 
by being a, a complete puss. Um, when cops exit the car, if you just happen to be entering, I actually like this. This car might survive on the top. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Because it's conveniently here. You know what, I'm actually gonna do those two frenzies that I missed right now. I'm gonna save before. Because they are a bit spooky. Uh, I have a really bad health though. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna save if I mess that up. I'm gonna load and do them later. Oh, god damn it, you just had to catch fire, did you? So these two frenzies being uh, the rocket launcher frenzy. Okay, yeah, this happens, okay. They're just gonna keep entering and exiting the cars because there are two cop cars spawned on wanted level one and they really, they really can't find what to do. They really have no idea who's in charge of this operation right there. So my health isn't concerning for this frenzy, but it's pretty concerned for next one. Um, concerning, and I am being concerned. English, do you speak it? So it's a very unconventional way of killing many people by rocket launching the wall. Um, that's the best way you have there. I mean, trying to snipe individuals is isn't gonna do much. I think that was my car going off. Was it? Did I snipe my car? No, I didn't. Okay, good. I couldn't, rather. And now the other frenzy. Which is, uh... Oh, actually, there should be health here. Or, like... Here. I think. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. There it is. Okay. I do remember the CD correctly. Right, I'm gonna grab the health for a flamethrower frenzy. Yet again, these two frenzies I should have already done, but I forgot. And uh, I'd rather just do them right now. Go in there. Yay! Thousand people dead. Hooray. Celebrating. Yeah, this frenzy is a bit spooky. Um, again, uh, chain explosions only count for frenzies uh, where um, the weapon that you're using... Uh, if, w if that weapon has the explosion property, and flamethrower doesn't have explosion property, like, I don't know what the... Like, I'm calling that explosion properties. Like, if there is explosion that weapon shots create, then it's... Uh, then it's count towards. Otherwise, it doesn't. So here I'm just individually burning cars. But I picked up very conveniently placed double damage, so it helps a lot. That's fine. Okay. Now we're gonna go back and save again, and uh, we don't have that many missions left, to be honest. I think it's only three left. It should be three, yeah. A couple, a couple more frenzies and. Uh, couple more tokens so if maybe we have a couple more donations or one, at least one that would be sweet PIIMP donated $100 awesome event thank you all greetings from Marie Louise and David thanks that's a very generous donation oh it's my burning car I don't want it not in the slightest Actually, Levi, if you can uh, buff up a bit the uh, donation bot for me, it would be good because it's kind of low for me. So, I'm like missing half of the words. I'm sorry. If there were like messages to me that which I didn't understand, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, uh, eh, as far as it's not doubled as during I say, it's fine. However, I was responsible for that one button press which doubled the donation. I know what happened though. So, um, this is a mission which has the, the mystery of GTA 2. For some reason, uh, okay, there, that car is stuck. It's, it's not moving anymore. Um, after this mission ends, uh, you can spawn a Z-type, but without 
it being bound to a gang, which is a unique unmarked Z-type, a very epically mitted car. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, however. But when it happens, it's definitely hype, so I would like to see a donation train if we actually get unmarked Z-type, but that's completely not happening because we have no idea what causes it. And then it's like kind of cool because there is no such car. I don't, maybe in multiplayer, the car exists. Uh, it's like the same as Z-type, but it doesn't have a mark and you can respray it. So it's like very weirdly looking. It's like the car which no one, no one uses ever. So it looks very, well, I won't say Uncanny Valley because it's definitely not that. It's like very weird looking car without Z on top. Or as Overcooler would make a joke about uh, Z and Z and when it turns around. Very funny. So we gotta drop that guy off a crane and he's gonna get killed. It's like a cop that uh, messed with the mafia so gotta pay now or something by dying. Uh, gonna first use his uh, very good police car to pick up this amazing token. So yeah, even though 100% is like 100%, you don't obviously do everything that you can do. So, uh, I just need a car, really any. I, I don't wanna attract police because cops, that's not a Mark Z type, that's just a B type. Yeah, didn't happen. Never, never does. It, like everyone saw it once or like twice. Everyone has video proof or screenshot proof. We tried figuring out how to spawn it. We tried, uh, well, maybe make it making it a, a bingo goal. Like there is no consistent way of spawning that baby, so there is certainly no idea. Oh come on! Okay, the car's stuck as well. Can't enter. Never park like that. Ever saw those guys on a parking lot that park too close to each other? That's me, probably. Uh, so there's last token in this area which we're never gonna visit again, hopefully, unless they fail a mission, which will be awful because this mission is uh, probably the longest in this entire district. And you have to drive this one of the slowest cars in existence, which is uh, Bankman. Nice wanted level, by the way. Really digging that. So remember I left that A-type earlier? Um, it supposedly stopped a bank van from progressing on its normal routine. And uh, I'm just gonna go and grab that bank van. Here it is. Hopefully it's on a good part of a slope. Oh really, only can enter through the back door. That, that's actually not a cop. If he somehow gets in fight, uh, well, gets mad. He might start fighting a police and looks very janky. Uh, it's actually just a color. I think it's gang member even. I don't know. So I don't want these cops on me, so I'm gonna respray, obviously. I know, it's very slow drive. There's literally nothing to talk about this mission. I'm just gonna find the most enjoyable radio and uh, shut up for a bit because I'm tired of talking. All songs suck at the radio at the moment. Oh no, this one doesn't. This is a very good song. Follow the song, bring up your hands high. A lift. And pray follow at your feet. Yeah, this is a long drive. I'm just gonna s listen to Jesus' song. Enough to do. If there are donations, can also plug them. Since I entered the back door, I also exit the back door. It's like a mechanic that I never mentioned. It's kind of important every now and then which door you enter. Um, 
But if you enter left door, you exit left door facing for towards the car. If you enter right door, you enter right door facing again, like the other, the opposite direction of a car. If you enter back door, you just well exit from the back, facing back. It's very important for the snipes. It, snipes of out of car are rarely a thing in this run. I don't think we actually had a single one. So yeah, it's literally no reason to explain it. But normally you try to park in a way that uh, you exit can instantly shoot a rocket and get it, get back. For that you need the left door. Spoilers. Um, so we're going in the second half of this mission. And however, despite the fact that this mission is like being two parts naturally, uh, if you fail a second part, you have to redo first one. Unlike some short missions, which don't require you doing that for no for no apparent reason, to be honest. Uh, and now we're gonna do last two frenzies. I hope that's last two frenzies. God, I hope that's last two frenzies. Because <laughs> um, if I miss something, it will be quite a job to remember what what exactly I forgot. So right now I'm forgetting where the frenzy is. But I think it's right here. Or here. I played this game. Monka thinking. Is it here? Oh, it's, it was here all along. Yeah, okay, that's... Uh, actually, if you do this frenzy right in this spot, it's actually somewhat hard. But since we can just take a frenzy whenever we want, we're gonna take it to the place where we already did like a couple frenzies. At least two. And hope that I won't destroy my car. We're also gonna pick up the invulnerability, which which is lying around because I can accidentally hit walls and normally that would just kill me and I really don't want to do that just wrecking havoc here not sure if my yeah. ooh don't get so close to a wall like I could have killed myself there can you die Okay, did my car survive? Awesome. Alright, uh, coming up to a last frenzy in this run, which is uh, a car frenzy. A very scary one as well. Like, th these last two frenzies are somewhat, uh, somewhat easy, but they're also somewhat scary. Alright, let me also check all the stats. So, ignore missions. This is, uh, we're just doing this because this is marathon, obviously I need to show that everything's correct. One more frenzy and one more token. Okay, we didn't miss anything. Dude, nice shot. Right between two cars. Okay. So here we kind of want to do more chain explosions. As much as we can, in fact. Oh. Oh, it's just a jank. Okay. I need to make sure I'm not accidentally shooting into the mission dude. Because if he dies uh, from a weapon, that would be unfortunate to us. Uh, hello, die. So somehow I got a ghost town there. Ghost town is a glitch when cops just don't spawn. There aren't many explanations on it. It just happens sometimes. Normally it happens when you actually need cops. So, and with this, tokens and frenzies are done. All we need to do is missions now. So proud of myself. So not forgetting anything and not failing anything. This is where this is where I get busted, I think. Now, well, this car isn't doing too well, but the car that we're using for this mission is gonna get stored in a garage, that, and we're never gonna have it anyway. Of course, if it makes it to the said garage, it of course does. So I want these guys to go away. 
All right, it's uh, last phone mission, and after that we have a final job. So final job is uh, is a mission. It's sure a mission, which you can't restart. Being an absolute madman that I am, I'm not gonna save before it. But it should be fine. Very rarely fail final job. Because this one is actually pretty easy. I'm feeling, I'm feeling how I'm jinxing myself. Like I'm just digging my own grave here. It's like the easiest mission ever. But yeah, speaking of easiest missions ever, this one isn't among them. Um, because uh, you need to steal a van, and after you steal it, there are three cars with Yakuza killers. Uh, two of them have machine guns. One of them has, ro has rocket launcher. So basically, insta kills you if he hits you. And uh, we'll have to drive away from them and then kill them. But they can destroy our van somewhat quick. So hopefully that won't happen. So Sometimes they don't appear for like this entire drive. Sometimes they just come out instantly like they did right now. Also what can happen, they might get like stuck in a random part of the level. Or they also can enter this tank which is right here. If they hit the wall here and get stuck and get out, they might just jump into that tank. Because they are they just try to grab whatever car they can. So when I'm gonna get in, in vulnerability now, it's not entirely 100% that I will give, that I'll get three Mayaras. Can you stop? Deja vu, calm down. So I didn't die because I'm invulnerable. As this game is a bit more arcadey, it had different bonuses. Uh, there is still one more machine gun guy. He's either stuck or died, the game forgot about him and despawned him. All of that is a possibility. And there he is. He's dead, actually. Can't be I can't believe he's dead. Okay, uh, I wanted all freeze and entirely sunshine. So I'll need a car after this mission. Cop cars are kind of really good for that purpose. So I'm gonna try to snudge this cop car that they have here. That cop just walked away, doesn't care. So final job, spawns three gang leaders. And you need to kill all three of them. Two of them already died in, in, a, in a various fights. And that's the last one. And uh, again, showing off all the stats. Seven missions for Yakuza, seven missions for Lunis, 22 total, 20, to uh, 20 frenzies, 50 tokens. Everything's done, we're just driving to the exit, uh, be ready on time. Uh. And time. Ah, not sub Molotov. Oh well. Well, at least we, at least we went uh, s somewhat well under estimate. Compensates for that insanely long setup. So yeah, this game can just randomly behave really badly on Windows 10. God bless Charlie and this laptop with Windows 7. Uh, so yeah, that's what, that was my last uh, run at this marathon. Gonna say my final words here. Um, uh, big shout outs to G GTA community for for all these guys and some in the rooms and so some people already left I guess yeah some of them they did uh, good t-shirts really n really nice this time shout outs to Brosef for designing them I think um, what else uh, shout outs to Russian Restream even though I already did uh, and to of course to GTA 2 community which is pretty active right now GTA 2 it's quite a uh, not dead game currently. It's like it has five or six active runners. Mostly they're running short categories, but still. Uh, shout outs to DJ Mike Max who helped us with a uh, trip to Italy and who also runs all mission categories. Hopefully he learns industrial soon. Um, and uh, yeah, after ESA, uh, I'm gonna be attempting something a bit dumb but I'm gonna try following the dream I'm gonna be full-time streaming I have I, I saved a bit of money so now I'm gonna be on, on a home care for myself for two months if you like GTA 2 
come watch uh, if you liked my other ones come watch if you just maybe enjoyed my commentary also come watch if you didn't enjoy it then don't come uh, I guess that's it uh, the setup took a long time and to not uh, postpone the stream any further we're gonna go uh, thanks everybody for watching I hope you enjoyed the run <laughs>